everybody, welcome back to another video. Yes, I am a default. Yes, I have been accepted into a party for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, today we are going to be ranking all of these season 9 skins. And we are going to start at the very beginning. We have Rox, Sentinel, and Bunker Jonesy. Vega, Stratus, Demi, Vendetta, and Singularity. We are going to be ranking all of them today, right here, right now. Let's get into the ranking. With our first skin that we are going to be choosing for place number 8, the worst one in the Battle Pass, in my opinion, Vega. I mean, eh, she, she's cool, not amazing, not, like, she, she's a good skin. Like, there were no horribly trashy ones this season, but if there was going to be one, it would have to be her. I mean, she has a few color variations, but nothing super standout-ish. Anyway, next on to place number seven. Coming in a whopping seventh place. People are probably going to be mad at me for this. But who cares? It is. Drumroll, please. Sentinel. I mean, yes, it's cool. It doesn't really, like, I like it to be clunkier because it's a robot. Like, and it only has, um, white and dark. And this one doesn't even look like a chicken. This one looks like a chicken. But, anyway, that's my place number seven. On to number six. Coming in at 6th place is none other than Demi, which, I'll, I'll grant it, it's, it, she's really cool, but, um, not super amazing, but leaked, her style is sick, the blue arm with the black and everything, it just looks so much better, anyway, on to number 5, number 5 is going to be Bunker Jonesy. I mean, he has a storyline, but it's just so clunky to play with. Like, that beard is just, like, when you're jumping, it just, it just shakes so much. But, yeah, the, 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 it just looks so cool. The, 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 gray, the gray beard makes it look better. But, anyway, that is who I will pick as our number five. Now, we'll get into probably some of my favorite skins I will play as. Coming in. At number four, we have Vendetta, the tier 100 skin. I probably would have put it higher if it wasn't tier 100 skin, because tier 100 skin is supposed to be cool. It's supposed to be something you want to get. But I know so many people who are like, eh, it's only Vendetta, I don't need it, and he sucks. So that's who my choice is going to be for number three. I mean, four. Three is coming up next. So guys, this season, we got our first reactive character, Stratus. I haven't really played with him much, but I mean, he looks cool. Um, it's our first reactive skin, so I'd be expecting we get some coming into season 10. Um, it's really cool. Um, but one thing is, is, it's like, eh. For me, I just like it because it's reactive, and that's why it takes the number three spot. Number two is a toss-up. I like both of these characters, but rocks. Cause, like, she just has so many unique styles that you can do. Like, black, and you can change that to blue. And it just, it looks so cool. Personally, my favorite is the blue-purple one, because that's who I play as most, is just purple and blue. Anyway, that is my um, tier two skin now moving on to number one so guys like come on it has to be singularity like there's so many unique styles you can do with her like with the default the cuddle the rex the drift the dirt the pizza it can be basically whatever color combination you want it to be it can be without a helmet it can be without armor the only thing is it can't just have a helmet and no armor it's probably one of my favorite skins. The hair gets dyed. 
a certain color depending on which one you choose it's just overall my favorite skin of this battle pass uh, if you guys don't agree comment down your list below and maybe I'll make another one with fan interaction with it anyway thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you later anyway bye bye